Happy birthday! <laughs> We're Jazz and Crystal. This is Bella and Izzy. We've been living and traveling in our van for the last two years. Join us each Sunday as we share our adventures as we navigate through life on the open road. Subscribe to our channel and join the pack. Today is a very special day. And it only happens once a year. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> it's Izzy's seventh birthday! Doesn't Izzy just look like a cute little alligator as she just swims in circles around and around? So cute. So cute. Good spot, honey. Yeah, it's a great spot. Island 22, outside of Chilliwack. So this beautiful area is entirely off leash and we decided that we had to bring Bella and Izzy, specifically Izzy, because it's Izzy her birthday. And Bella down to the river for a swim because it's a hot 23 degrees today. 23. And you know to a lot of you that's probably not that hot but we are not acclimatized and we're sweating. Did you have a good birthday walk Izzy? Time for the real party. Happy birthday, dear Izzy. Happy birthday to you. Today, little Izzy turns seven years old. <laughs> she's an old soul, but she's still quite young. Just love her. <laughs> Don't you just love her? So much, my whole heart. You'll honestly never meet a dog like Izzy. First thing this morning, we all headed to the pet store and Izzy picked out her birthday cake today, actually. Come on, Nukies. Come on. Oh. All right, now time for us to get a little Munchy munchin, and then we're gonna continue on with the adventures. Starting route to 186 Tropical Road. Oh! What's your road snack? Oh, you wanna know? Like a Poke Bowl without the cucumber. Yeah, because we didn't have any. Yeah, I'm missing the Avo too, because we ate it all last night. Yeah, a nice little leftover. I always love it when we make extra food and we know we have a long drive the next day because. We get there quicker because we're not busy cooking. And it's always good food instead of eating junk. But I'm not gonna lie to you all. I did bring the junk too. <laughs> so Crystal just put us into third gear and that is because we're on Highway 3 right now and it is very mountainous. So if you drive a Sprinter with a heavy load, like our lady, you'll want to put your van into third gear to go 30 or 40 kilometers up the hill or when you're even going down the hill, you wanna go, you wanna downshift your gears. It just helps your van's engine, makes Save your heart brakes. happy, saves the brakes, you don't wanna burn them out. And the rule of thumb is, is you never go down a hill faster than you can go up a hill. Continue straight. Stay safe out there. So when the GPS says three hours, just know, probably take you around four and a half, maybe five hours. <laughs> But you'll get there and you'll enjoy the whole drive because this is a really beautiful drive filled with so many trees and mountains and the bear bears not you bear bear the other bear bears must be out here and the sun's kind of going downish now so we might see some on the sides of the roads as it's a bit quieter less busy through the woods and deep into the night as long as you don't ever leave me i wanna give there's no what do we see up there hi bear bear we saw Bear bears, they're so cute with their big round butts. 
I know, just eating away. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Here you are, my love. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, that's perfect. Right here is perfect. Not a bad morning coffee spot. Not at all. Summer, loving, give me something. I'm about to. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, you're gonna get me. <laughs> She's a wild dog. I love it so much. Makes me wanna go in. Yeah, but it's ice cold. It's freezing, like absolutely glacier. And it's like clearly here, not as warm or not as, how did I say it? What? Like this is not as warm, like as even Vancouver? just a few hours from here. Oh yeah, because we're on top of the mountain. Yeah, it's like, it's, I mean, it's sunny, so it's warm, but like the water is like ice. <laughs> was amazing. We are literally nestled in the trees alongside a river and we actually found it on iOverlander of course and a lot of people say that they stay at that spot instead of staying in the provincial park right beside it. So they explore the provincial park during the day called Manning and then they stay there just because one provincial parks are always booked up and also the campsites are just kind of like sardines in a can so there you had all the space to have your own privacy. If you have 4x4, four four, you could definitely get in there. The rocks did get a little soft. There was one spot we definitely could get to, but we were only stopping there just for the night and then getting up and going today. As we have to make the next part of our journey, we drove half of it yesterday. And we we're actually going to a microgreens farm right now to go volunteer. And we're really excited to get our hands in the dirt. Oh, I know. This is the perfect time to thank today's video sponsor, Storyblocks. Jasmine and I partner with brands that we believe in, that we can stand behind, and we've been using Storyblocks for a long time now to enhance our videos. You can use it to make travel films, vlogs, music videos, or any project that you've got on the go. Storyblocks is known for being affordable, for its unlimited downloads, and its massive library of stock footage, overlays, sound effects, and more. All of which is copyright free, royalty free, and demand driven. Which brings me to Restock. Restock was created after people were asking for more diverse stock footage. Storyblocks heard these requests and are now focused on creating stock footage that represents all of us. They're committed to changing the faces of stock by adding more diverse representation of BIPOC and LGBTQI plus communities. Recently, Jasmine and I were searching for a shot of two women holding hands on Storyblocks, and we found it no problem and we were able to include it in our video, which is very refreshing as typically most stock footage isn't inclusive. So thank you to Storyblocks for taking this on and making a change. Click the link in the description or head on over to storyblocks.com forward slash vanwives. This is like Mexican heat. Yeah, it's dry as heck. Oh my gosh, like it's so hot. Okay, turn off the water, you're wasting water, lady. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> She'll bark at you soon. This seriously looks like Mexico. Wow. This feels like Mexico. <laughs> The farm 
we go. <laughs> you need a ride? <laughs> Hop on the front. <laughs> there's still steps on it. Oh, there's Gertie. So beautiful out here. Wow, this is cool. Oh. Hello. Hi, puppies. Oh, look at all your friends, girls. Yes. Sniff butt, sniff your butt. We've just arrived on the farm and our good pals Jamie and Lisa are giving us a full tour of the lot. We're meeting all of the people that live here and that work here and we're getting to see where everything's grown and all they've been up to for the last few weeks and as you can see, there's tons of little pups. Hi Winston! Hi Winston! <laughs> It's so peaceful. Everything is outside. Everyone's living outside in nature. There are a few bunkies built here within the cherry trees and not far off there's an outdoor kitchen and an outdoor shower. It's all an incredible experience. Delicious. So what they're saying is that there's all different types of microgreens in this greenhouse at the moment and they've got a weekly schedule that they keep. Sunday is preparing the packaging, Monday is harvesting, Tuesday is packaging, Wednesday we start it all over again with new seeds going in. It's absolutely fascinating to be surrounded by this many sprouts. We're going on a tour and a tasting tour with Jamie and Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> instantly felt comfortable and at home on the farm. And we were feeling overwhelmed with happiness to be surrounded by greenery, hugged by the mountains all around us, and with some good company. The best part was the dogs were so happy to be running freely. We'll put you to work. Yep, right put on. us to work. <laughs> oh, lucky girl, Bella Bella. <laughs> Thanks for the tour, you two. We're gonna take it easy, watch the sun go down, and get ready to volunteer tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. You're quite energetic. Farm life, I tell you. Are you ready to be farmer jazzy? Am I ever? <laughs> oh, I'm so ready to be a farmer today. <laughs> it's just like the crack of dawn and I'm ready to go. <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet, just water. Oh yeah, speaking of coffee, could go for one of those. Here you are, my friend. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Good morning. This is service. <laughs> See you on the farm. Well, lucky me, gonna be a tad bit late to my first day of work because Jasmine doesn't remember where to go on the farm. We gotta figure out where we're going. I thought she told you where we were going. Yeah, I didn't oh. listen. Oh, you didn't listen. Good work, teammate. Good work. Day one done. Boom. Okay, I have to show you all Izzy, but I have to be very quiet because we don't want to disturb her, but she's literally the cutest dog ever. You too, Bella. But like, just such a sweet old soul angel. Anyways, before she moves, I'm gonna go out there. That dog would love it if we owned some land. Are you just laying under a tree, Izzy? Hello, Izzy. It's like 32 degrees, are you sunbathing? Hi, my baby girl. You want more? Okay. You are way too cute, Izzy. We're gonna have to go for a swim soon, aren't we? Hi. <laughs> Izzy knows exactly what you do after a nice little shift on a farm. You snooze under a tree. So we're just down by the river here and as you can see it's moving very quickly. There's a ton of meltwater coming down from the mountains and the glaciers 
rolling down the mountains and they've made their way into the valley. And this happens every spring, but it doesn't necessarily get this high every spring. So we're actually currently standing on the dike where they're trying to build up the wall to prevent flooding, like as you can see behind me. So they've got the big tractor Kubota down here. They're gonna try and build up the wall to prevent more water from coming through and coming up over into this into the field. So tell us, what are you doing today with the Kubota? Um, I'm bringing in extra material because the river is taking away uh, the edge of the bank. Yeah, and that could like flood it out, eh? And yeah. maybe the river is coming down and it meanders right around this S and all the pressure builds up here and it's washing out this entire wall. It's so strong. The pressure is insane. Because the, basically the barrier wall is, I don't know, four feet higher than the, than the ground we stand on and the river is about at the same height. And you'd probably, would you, you'd obviously lose all the crop then that's here or? Um, it's pretty hardy. So like it can be underwater for like a day or two and it'll be fine. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. It, I didn't know that. Yet. Has the farm ever flooded before? Uh, yeah, it flooded in 2018. So flooded the year before that in 2007. Yeah, that's really scary. If this were to rise another four feet on top of the four feet it's already risen, this area would be underwater. So they're keeping a very, very close eye on it and just making sure that, you know, every bit of the farm in the river is A-OK -okay because it just happens so quickly and water is so powerful. And that right there is how you build up the barrier wall in hopes that no more water gets through and floods the fields. So, fingers crossed, we're good. <sighs> farm life. You just gotta think of everything. Like, yeah. there's more to the farm than just planting and harvesting oh, and packaging. Yeah. Like, All around the clock. I feel the change is coming. It's closer every day. I feel the waters rising just like a tidal wave So go on, tell your brother and sisters all the same We gotta come together for a brighter day How did I get stuck getting the camera? That's the only reason why I'm on this walk is to carry the camera There's loads of dandelion greens if you wanted to make a salad or use the roots for something else lovely they're lining the whole path. Brought out the old moon chain in a while, eh? Like a year. <laughs> Summer's back! That's what that means, summer is back. We're late, we gotta go! Ugh. It's harvesting day. Today is where we get our hands dirty and we get into the goods. Or clean. Yeah. Dirt is clean. Okay. <laughs> Go in and sculpt. Are you working hard? Look at your beautiful microgreens! Yes! I love these. Sunflower seeds. Billy's a runner. He's grabbing the trays inside the greenhouse when we're done harvesting. Fills up the truck right here. The truck drives all the way down to Jamie, who then dumps the trays in the soil mixer. Grinding up all the soil it's not dirt apparently it's soil soil yeah. good terminology it goes through like one grind and then what happens is some of it gets kicked out like this so we have to literally pick through it with the shovel and then throw it back in again yeah. so. working hard out here i wish i was hardly working <laughs> We're letting the shoot back up because then it blocks everything and then it just keeps going back down and recirculating it. How are your babies? Mm, they're so tasty. <laughs> Free what? breakfast. Should I do it? Yeah, go for it. I dare you. Ow. Oh. 
Wow. It's organic here too, so you know. Organic B12. And, uh, yeah. and you even had a little seed in there. There's a, actually she has it Crunchy. all set up. It's also, there's no compost. And there's also no animal byproducts in it either. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Look at that everyone. It's a completely organic farm. Oh, Jamie. Hi, girls. Oh, hey. The river has risen quite a bit in the last few hours. <laughs> Literally since we got into the greenhouse. Yeah. Yep. You gotta keep a constant eye on it. What is that? Exactly. The famous potato pancakes. Let's see a flip. In the valley, there's tons of food grown. Ambrosia apples were created right here. Brunch is ready. This has got to be the prettiest food I've ever seen. <laughs> You'll have to rate us, because everyone always oh, talks yep. about our food. So what's on the breakfast menu, Crystal? All right, so we've got tofu scramble, and this is the first time they've had it, so we're really excited to introduce it to them. Yes. And we've got avo, we have the fresh apples, potato pancake, asparagus, Salivating, it's so good. What else do we have? Fresh micro micro. Oh yeah, and the microgreens from the farm, which nice, is yes. tops off the meal. Fresh bread, baked by yours truly over there. Yeah, they bake bread in their van. It's honestly, it's the coolest thing. That is pretty epic. <laughs> what do you think it tastes like? It tastes like scrambled eggs. Woo! Hear that, chef? You've met Jamie and Lisa, so now we need to show you their van. There's a 2017 Mercedes Sprinter van, 170 inch wheelbase, 2500, which is basically six cylinder, three liter turbo diesel. Wow! wow that blew me away. That was a great go. description. How long have you been living in the van? Use those fingers. Eight months. <laughs> Eight months full Almost time since we what? sold our house. I know, it's exciting. This is Gertie. Gertie, the van. Yeah, this is our kitchen. This is the stainless steel sink. This is what I used to have when I was in England. And I love the stainless steel draining board. Oh, and wow. And the single sink. And this is what I grew up with. And this is what I wanted. And this is what, this is the first thing that we bought for the van. And we drove around with an empty van for six months and it just slid around in the back of the van. <laughs> And we have an induction cooktop, single faucet. How much water do you have on board? Um, 80 liters. Rocky water filter system. It works great, you can put anything in. I could put that disgusting river <laughs> water in there right now. And it would come out clean and you'd be able to drink it. This is bread. We like to bake bread. You're bakers. Yes, we're bakers. And we bake a lot of bread. And we have an oven in here. And here's our oven. Oh, Bella likes it. <laughs> yeah, so your bacon bread, that's something you do like every week, yeah? Yes, at least once a week. And this will bake, um, roast, uh, convection, and it will also um, dehydrate. Oh, wow. Yeah, we haven't tried that yet, but I want to I wanna do oh, that. Oh my gosh. It has a dehydrator, which is really cool. And when the weather was cold and we were in the van and we wanted to proof bread, you can put this on. It has a proof setting oh on it, my which gosh. is 80 degrees. This is luxury van life, oh. people. Holy smokes. But if we keep eating so much bread, we might need another battery. This is, this is all food storage. Well, no, that isn't. Yeah, two things of food. And then we have more storage under here. This is all the coffee and spices, because we love our coffee. This is a 12 volt unique fridge and it's a fridge freezer it's pretty big eh it's 65 liters yeah it's we love it absolutely love it a step up to okay. sit on the bench okay so and you've got a table here yeah and we've got a lagoon table right on out. and then this is my beer cap collection so impressive this is my favorite part of the van right here you're a beer connoisseur yeah yes So this is the fit, your favorite part of the house? Yes, and the only reason it's the favorite part is because on my drawer slide that comes all the way out, I have my beer fridge. As soon as a beer comes out, but here's extra, a beer goes in. No way! Yep. Take me to the place where it's beer o'clock.
Oh, and you must have your electrical system back here now. Yes. Three 200 watt panels on the roof for a total of 600. 600 watts? Yes, yeah, 600 wow. watts, yeah. And we have three 100 amp lithium batteries, uh, 3000 watt inverter, and we also have alternator charging for when we're driving. Right on. And we have shore power here as well. Awesome. Water tanks on that side. And then these are the other part of the screens, the same company that did the side door. Yeah. So this we can open up. Right now it's open. And we can close it from the inside. And then this will actually come down. Hides everything. That is so clean. That's it. Thanks for the tour, Jamie. You're welcome. <laughs> Time for a beer? That's right. <laughs> Jamie missed a few things on his tour. Did you see the wheels? Did you see the tires? Did you see the bunk windows? Did you see the big ass sprinter with a huge door? Did you see this ladder? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> and you see this engine? <laughs> Check out the sumo springs. Damn. Snazzy roof rack made by Cage. Sidestep. We're gonna link Jamie and Lisa's channel right here. So head on over to their channel. They post every Sunday as they are showing van life in the over 55 club as they travel through Canada. And as, well, you're not traveling right and they're And they're coming to Mexico when the border's open with us. So now you're uh, held to that, Jamie. <laughs> I'm in. See you next Sunday? See you Sunday. Ciao. Ciao. Bella and Izzy, get a room. Oh, cut me off. <laughs> Whoa, lady. Yeah, so you can see yourself if you want. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs>